Tyler Rich is with us. Man, uh, so uh, you have a wedding coming up. Now, were you planning any of the wedding while all this was going on, while picking out linens and stuff? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, in, the, in the middle of my three hours of sleep, I was dreaming about which linens I want. Um, I... Yeah, this whole, uh, when I got engaged, I put a lot, a lot of thought into the proposal. And it was a very stressful moment in my life. But yeah. everybody, you know, they assured me. They said, Tyler, you put so much thought into this proposal. Then your, the hard work's over. Yeah. Then all of a it. sudden, she's just going to plan this awesome wedding. Or at least the mother-in-law will, but either way, you're out of it. Yeah, and then you just get to show up and drink with your friends. That's it. And I was like, that doesn't sound so bad. No. And so we uh, so I planned this great proposal. It was uh -huh. in Jamaica. It was awesome. And she said, yes. Plug, Which is gone. key to the next part. Yeah, it was like for sure the <laughs> prequel to yeah. all this. Um, and no, she's been super busy. And I've done most of the planning. Like, I'm not busy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it sounded like you, you're not that busy based on what you just told us. So Here's why are you in charge of everything? That's what I want to know. So this is what I've found out recently, is that Sabina, my fiance, she's got very strong opinions about everything, mm -hmm. but the inability to make decisions. Oh. Which is every woman I think I've ever met. <laughs> well, she which said, yeah, she made that decision. She made but the no. decision to say, yeah. So is there not a mother-in-law involved in all this? Um, she, she's there. Okay, because now my, my, my concern is you're going to plan all this stuff and they're going to hate it. Yeah. No, no, so, she is involved. She's for okay. sure involved. Here's, here's basically the situation. We'll get texts from our wedding planner okay. with questions that need to be answered. So there's a wedding planner and you're still having to make decisions? Yeah. And, <laughs> well, she's doing so much, but then I, the wedding planner, not Sabina. Yeah, yeah. So no, much. your wife, your, I mean, yeah. your fiance is not doing no, anything. No. Clearly, she's not doing crap. And we get these long text messages of, hey, we need this answer, we need this answer, we need this, this. Yeah. And that stresses Sabina out. So then okay. she'll be like, oh, I can't. And she pushes her phone away. She goes, I'll decide later. And then what she didn't see at the bottom was like, we need to know this by 5 p.m. today. Yeah. You know, so then I'll respond A, B, C, D, knowing what Sabina likes. Yeah. Right? I know her enough. Yeah. And then three weeks go by, planner will say, hey, so. This is coming over to the place. This is going to be here. This will be that. It's going to be like, why? Why? We never said that. I was like, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. We sure did. She goes, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> she yeah. steps back. No, she's sweet. She's doing her best. She's busy. She's working. She's killing it. And uh, and what does she do? She's an actress. Okay. Yeah. So um, she was. She just went to New York for a few weeks to shoot a new film with Pierce Brosnan. She's awesome. Yeah. That's like James Bond. Don't look at her. Uh, but, uh, well, he's an old. He's old now. He, he's about ninety now. I know, but he's got that George Clooney effect. Well, I guess that's true. Uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, he's he's still James Bond for sure. Yeah, he's definitely still James Bond. <laughs> I get your point. I get your point. So you're happy to pick out linens as long as, yeah, as long as you're continuing to make her happy. Yeah, so give, her to with, uh, <laughs> give her nothing to complain about. Give her nothing to complain about. That's right. Always happy. <laughs>